I'm wondering how this is going to come out because it's an issue that I tried to deal with yesterday with less success. Um, there's a mental filter going around right now. It has to do with self-esteem. Um, self-esteem in men. And so it goes something like this. It is lifting. It's in the process of lifting and it goes something like this. Um, I... It's kind of a gnarly uh, mental filter, so I hope you'll excuse my mentioning it. I thought I'd better. Um, it, a lot of it has to do with this word homosexual, which, you know, it's a ridiculous word because surely if anything were of a person's own choosing, it would be the manner in which they express their sexuality. Surely that is of our own choosing, right? But for, for reasons I don't understand, the demonic world has taken it in hand to, to propose to humanity that only a certain type of sexuality is permissible. Go figure. I can't figure it out. I mean, I could see the, the, the demonic nature of, of energy in expression of sexuality that hurts another person. That's a whole different kind of thing, but, you know, where love is involved, what is the question? So, so in some way, the demon realm has got hold of this notion that homosexuality is, is demonic, when in fact, what is demonic here? Is, is the notion of hatred of another human being for exercising their free will in a manner that does not injure anyone else. That's the demonic thing. That hatred. And it's always hatred that's demonic. Okay, so people who think differently from us, they're not demonic. It's our judgment of them that's the difficult thing and that keeps us from the true reality and from the fifth dimension from Christ consciousness. It's our own judgment, you know, our own lack of right discrimination, as they say in Buddhism. I think that's how they say it. So now <laughs> that was a preamble because, because it's a kind of a tough uh, mental filter. <laughs> so the mental filter goes like this. And as some of the prior ones, it has something to do with homosexuality. Um, uh, let's say there's a man who has low self-esteem. There's a man who feels, and this is frequently the case in the Atlantean turn of the age, the man feels that it's hard for him to get love because he's not feeling his heart. Okay, That's like the social role for men right now, as Peggy Black was saying in her most recent um, morning message. Okay, so the man thinks, nobody loves me. And then that's going in the back of his, his mind. Okay, and then he thinks, clairaudiently, to the world at large, but to women, right? He thinks, this is a straight guy. He thinks some. Um, Will you love me? And running in a lower sub level is nobody loves me. So for the nature spirits, this re rep the beautiful, sweet nature spirits, this re represents an insoluble problem. He's he's co-creating two se he's creating two separate opposite realities for himself. There's no solution to this, you know. So, um, so what happens is he goes to people and says, he goes to women in his, in, his, in his subconscious mind and he says to them, will you love me? And at the same time he says to himself, nobody loves me. So nothing happens, right? So his prediction is fulfilled. Uh, the lower prediction is fulfilled. And then in vengeance he says to the woman, you are a homosexual, okay? So that's the message to the woman that rejects him. You are a homosexual. 
Now, what does he mean by that? You know, does it mean to him that he has no option but to be homosexual because only men love him? In a jock sort of way, maybe, you know, through athletics or something like that? Or does it mean to the woman, you know, in retribution, you must be homosexual because you don't care about me? But so that's the thing that's, that's lifting right now, the mental filter that's lifting, that the idea that men can't receive love and can't give love, that's lifting. The idea that they must speak to women, uh, treat women in a disrespectful fashion because of that is also lifting. So that's really good news. But coming up in the next video is something that's not quite such good news. Anyway, 